This is First Street in downtown Los Altos. If you think it looks unremarkable, you wouldn't be the only one. The city council will vote in early February to redo First Street, making it more aesthetically pleasing and pedestrian-friendly. While many store owners think it's a great idea in the long term, several are worried how construction will affect their businesses. Like Goretti Alonzo, owner of Peggy's Health Center. So I'm concerned. I'm concerned a little bit about the next two years, but I'm hopeful that in the end it will be beneficial for all of us. The concern, especially for me, because I'm right on First Street, is going to be heavy-duty construction work. And then all the construction that I think will be happening around the new rezoning. Goretti Alonzo is clearly worried about construction. In fact, when the camera shut off, she said she'd start looking for a new location soon, not just because of the construction. Owners of old buildings like Alonzo's are putting their buildings up for sale. Hopeful news of the streetscape project will fetch them decent prices. But Mike Herbert doesn't care about that. He owns his building. He just thinks the whole project is a waste of money. I think it's a lot of wasted money. I just don't think it's necessary. I think there's a lot of other things they could do to improve the look versus tearing up the street and redoing what people walk on. Uh, and they can go through and put trees in. They can change poles. They can do all that stuff without tearing up and replacing all the concrete. But he's not entirely against the idea, just as long as they get in, get out, and get on with it. I'm more, I would be more concerned with how long it takes them to do it. They haven't told us how long that the whole process is going to take yet. But, I mean, if they can come in and knock it out in a week, I wouldn't be against it. Los Altos Special Projects Manager Dave Bree says he doesn't know how long construction will take since the final streetscape project has not been approved yet. The project will widen sidewalks and put in benches, decorative street monuments, trellises, more benches, bike locks, and trees. It will not, however, include a bike lane, and this makes Carl Hagenmeyer very sad. Hagenmeyer is the chair of the Los Altos Bicycle and Pedestrian Advisory Committee. His committee was not consulted about the first street development plans. What they've decided is to emphasize pedestrian access at the expense of, of bicycles. For recreational riders, families, uh, casual riders, sharing the lane's not a prospect. They don't like to share the, the lane with, with cars. And the problem is there are limited ways to get into Los Altos. The only way to get into downtown is through Los Altos Avenue, First Street. So if we make this unfriendly to recreational riders, we basically close off downtown to all of those people who live there. Because Safeway expressed interest in redoing its First Street store and the post office closed on January 31st, almost the entire west side of First Street is available for redevelopment. The city jumped on the opportunity to beautify First Street with the help of developers. In the end, everyone, including shop owners and Carl Hagenmeyer, thought the First Street streetscape project will be great for the city. I think it would be a great way to reactivate and modernize the city. They're doing it to try to revitalize the city. Well, they have too many hair salons, in my opinion. Actually, Mike Herbert had nothing nice to say about it. Anything they do here is going to help. I mean, it's going to make the city better, so I don't want to fight it. It's just going to stink while it's under construction. Oh yes, and City Council member Lou Becker worried the string lighting at intersections would make Los Altos look like Las Vegas. And Los Altos, he said, is not Las Vegas. I'm Aaron Barasini, reporting for the Silicon Valley Pulse.